Today on NuggetCast, 2014 has been quite the year for IT technology. As we wrap up the year, let's look back at some of our favorite IT trends. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a fiber network backbone. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two brand new certs and a fiber network, network backbone. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three servers hosting two, two brand, brand new certs and a fiber network, network backbone. backbone. Fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four network octets, three, three servers, servers hosting, two, two brand, brand new certs, and a fiber network, network backbone. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me five golden pings, four, four network, network octets, three, three, three servers, servers hosting, two, two brand, brand new certs, and a fiber network, network backbone. Okay. Get it. You want lots of things for Christmas. Weird things. But can we just get to the end and tell me everything at once? On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve gigs of red. Eleven miners mining. I don't think it's okay to give people miners. They are people too. Ten, Ten moonings, two, nine, nine servers, eight, eight stacks of glass, seven, no silence, six, five, golden. And an organizational unit in uh, Active Directory Upside Down Hierarchical Tree Structure. And the fire I don't think I really want you guys to give me anything. You are very strange. <laughs> Welcome to Nugget Cast. I'm your host, Steve Barth, and today we're taking a look back at the year 2014. Now, one of the fun things about working with technology is that it constantly changes. It evolves quickly over time, which means each year it can be exciting to see all the new changes or toys that come our way and how they affect us as IT professionals. I asked four of our CBT Nuggets trainers what their favorite IT trend was from 2014 and I was amazed at the diversity I got in their answers. So today we'll hear from each one of them as they explain their favorite IT trend of 2014. Let's start with Anthony Sequera and Unified Fabric. So we're talking the top IT trends of 2014. What do you got for us? What's your favorite? Yeah, a, a, a trend that is just continuing to catch on is the unification of LAN and SAN traffic. So Steve, imagine this server and traditionally this server would have two devices inside it. One device called a NIC, network interface card, to communicate to the local area network. And then another device inside it called a host bus adapter to communicate to the storage area network. Now, one of the really exciting trends that's just continuing to pick up speed is more and more those two devices are taken out, replaced with something called a converged network adapter that can speak to both environments. Ah. So, yeah, so we, we used to have all this traditional equipment for the LAN, all this traditional equipment for the SAN, but now those two are merging. So what's the benefit then to IT pros? Great question. So one of the things that ends up happening is a real cost savings because you are not being forced to buy this separate cabling infrastructure for one, the separate little network cards for the other. And then you have engineers that can Instead of one group in charge of the LAN and one group in charge of the SAN, there's more of a blur now. 
where you can have one staff trained in both of those technologies. Wait, 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 wait. What if instead of gifts, we got them boxes with ribbons filled with dirty socks? <laughs> Trend number two comes from Chris Ward with the merge of Link to Skype for Business. So the top trends, IT trends of 2014, what is, what's been your favorite? Well, uh, obviously being the Link guy, one of the biggest things that we see trending is now that Microsoft has decided to move the whole Link environment into Skype. So it's now going to be called Skype for Business. And basically, uh, this has kind of been telegraphed to us back when they moved. Uh, Skype actually was the area that Link was moved underneath. This is back about a year ago, and everyone was like, hmm, I bet you that they're going to change it. And they did. And part of the reason why and Microsoft's doing this, I believe, is because there's 300 million people using Skype. We're using Skype right now. And so to make an interface that's better for the users is obviously going to be something big for them. It makes the learning curve just a little bit easier, I think. But look for 2015, there's going to be a brand new edition of formerly Link, now called Skype for Business, which I'm really excited and looking forward to. Skype for Business is going to be the way most businesses communicate. If you want to use voice over IP, you want to do chat, web conferencing and all that in one bundle, Skype for Business is going to be the way to go. I got garden gift too. It is a bomb. <laughs> and finally, we'll end with something a little different. Let's explore IT home automation and why that matters to IT pros as we talk to Garth Schulte. So today we're talking about the top IT trends of 2014. What is one of your favorites? I'm a big fan of all of this home automation stuff, all these gadgets that are coming out to make our lives easier uh, when it comes to automating all of our home devices and appliances. Things like, you know, the Nest is a good example of one that's that's been out for a bit now that's gaining traction that allows you to control your thermostat remotely. Um, and they've also got a fire alarm and a carbon monoxide detector. So I'm, I'm really excited about connecting all of our devices that can be connected to the internet through our home because I'd love to control things like my toilet. So when I forget to flush it when I leave my house, I can just pop over the iPhone and flush it or, or control the oven. You know, you leave it on, you're out and about, oh, no, I left the oven on, we got to go home. I'll just open up my device and control it from, from my phone. So, so I'm excited about home automation. I think it's a great way to make us more efficient. Now here, Amazon has a product that's going to help with some of this or? Yeah, yeah. You know, the Amazon Echo is a cool product because it, it makes us more efficient by not having to take our phone out of our pocket when we're, when we're at home and you're you're talking to your family and debating over something, you can just ask the Echo. It's a way to, to, to just communicate with it in real time and get answers in real time without having to mess with any device. But I hear that uh, the Amazon Echo, you have to have a name for it. You do, you have to have a name so it knows when to listen. Uh, my five-year-old daughter decided that we should name ours Dammit, which is actually extremely brilliant because it incorporates technology into my routine rather than the other way around. Because check this out, you know, I open the fridge and I'm out of milk. Damn it, we're out of milk. Well, there you go. Amazon, the Echo Listen, and it's automatically on my shopping list. So, there you cool, go. Cool stuff. So, the big question becomes as IT professionals, why should we care about things like home automation? Because we're going to have to be, we're, we're going to be the ones configuring them and connecting them to the internet for the family, right? So, people are going to get all these cool gadgets in the next few years over Christmas. And who are they going to come to? They're going to come to us. Like, we need more things to do, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think it's great to give somebody miners money, but I kind of want a barista instead. So there you go. Some great ideas for some of the latest things to come out of 2014 in the IT world. Now I'm sure you have your own personal favorite trend and we'd love to hear it. What mattered to you in IT in 2014 and what gets you excited about the learning opportunities coming in 2015? Let us know by sending an email to this address right here. We'll see you next month. Okay, make that next year. And with that, have a fantastic holiday season. Merry Christmas, everyone. So, <clears throat> send me the audio that you've hopefully been recording. Oh, I didn't push the record button. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 12 Garth Face dartboards, 11 tiny pickles, 
Ten really means ten. Nine is of Deutsch. Eight stinky cheeses. Seven servers crashing. Six piggy puddings. Because piggy pudding is disgusting. Five Brussels sprouts. Four broken cables, three more stinky cheeses, two arch nemesises, and the dead fish of the underguard's bed. Have a horrifyingly miserable Christmas, everybody. <laughs>